Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie and this is episode 124 of my Direwolf 20.18 Let's Play. Oh, look at that. I miss this place. Look at this. Isn't this amazing? <laughs> amazing view. And look, it's just so good. <laughs> I love this view. Um, I have a few plans for today. Um, I have marked out all my tier three glyphs. I, I made one and then I was like, you know, I should probably record this. Uh, so the one I made was the uh, Summon Undead one. It was just like the first one on the list. I was like, oh, this was kind of easy, but, um, you know, maybe I should record it. Uh, so uh, I, I think the main thing I wanted to do with that first lift was like, it had been so long since I did any Ars Nouveau. I didn't even remember how to make a spell, so... Yeah, um, these, these things are pretty cool, um, scraps table, so all I have to do really, I have a bunch of stuff here, um, if I just throw all the stuff in the chest, uh, it's really cool mechanic that it will just pull everything out of the chest. I need an open hand, okay, so, we, uh, actually I think the book, yeah, there we go. Right click on it with the book, and then we just select tier three. Here's the one I did, Summon Undead. It was just a bone and a wither skull. <laughs> so, oh, I forgot there is a level requirement for these, and I only have five levels, but I do have this little doodad. So let's um get, get some of that stuff going. Oh man. It's a little bit uh, dry there. Oh, forgot. Okay, so I I don't have things for all of them, but I do want to make the ones that I can make. Uh, so orbit, orbit is easy. We just click on that, hit select. I already got all the ingredients for it in the chest, and it just pulls them out <laughs> of adjacent chest. So. Uh, that is super cool and awesome. Orbit. Yes. <laughs> and uh, split. I have split. Uh, I did actually have to make the splitter. I had to go and kill, uh, use the thing to summon Wilden because I have tons of wings and I have tons of the claws or fangs. Uh, but the spikes, um, these guys only spawn in like frozen biomes or cold biomes, like it says right there. So I don't visit those a lot. Um, I have had a few of them, so I had to go and summon, uh, use the Wilden ritual, but not augment it just so I could get normal dudes um, to hopefully get some Wilden spikes. The first time I didn't get any, so I had to do it again. And the, the other things were just items that I already had. Uh, the, the relay splitter I did have to make, uh, but it, it wasn't too bad. It was just some gold and lapis and then some lapis and some uh, nether quartz. So that was um, pretty easy to gather. Uh, split. And let's see, uh, Blink. Blink was another good one. Uh, it looks pretty fun. I still kind of miss the old uh, <laughs> way of getting around with um, Ars Nouveau. That was, that was kind of cool. Uh, so that was Blink. Um, bangs. I believe I only had one um, totem of undying. I only found one. So we're going to have to go hunt for these and Prismarine. Um, I have some ideas for that. So <laughs> hopefully that'll pan out. 
This one takes an elytra, so I'm going to have to go romping around the end in order to get this one. Uh, the hex, I don't have a wither rose, so uh, the only way you can get a wither rose is by killing the wither, or, well, while you're fighting the wither, the wither has to kill something. Uh, I believe in, like, vanilla Minecraft, they just do chickens, like, you go and you have a chicken farm and you summon a bunch of eggs and you go wherever you're going to kill the wither and then you throw a bunch of eggs down and you get some chicks and i don't i'm not sure if those have to be matured chicks um when they die i think they may have to be uh I haven't actually done that <laughs> but i did i think i watched somebody do who was that um i want to say like maybe paul soros jr um or ethos i mean <laughs> i i haven't watched their videos in this video in a while uh, so I don't really remember who it was uh, but that's how you can get the wither rose but I don't have that um, so what I could do is I have a wither that's loose <laughs> in a, um, a compact machine uh, because uh, for whatever reason I lost power when he was in stasis so he got loose and he's just running around terrorizing the thing i could go in there and oh i could uh i could use the glass bottle no because they would i would have to unshrink them and i'd have to be fast to get that done i don't know i don't know how how can you get some animals in there <laughs> without dying i guess i could go in um, I don't know if killing a shrunk entity will count the same as killing a normal entity. So that would be interesting too. I could use um, some glass bottles, go around, shrink some chickens or, or any other animal that I find and put them in a bottle and then just go turn them loose in there and see if it works. So... Maybe we'll do that. Uh, but we have this intangible one. That sounds pretty cool. Uh, and I had I had some phantom membranes. I had four. <laughs> only had four. That's all that I had. But it was enough. I only needed three. Uh, so kind of cool. Ah, I just really love this mechanic. It's so cool intangible um i think there were more uh the lightning i don't believe i have a heart of the sea linger i don't have dragon's breath ah summon decoy i can do that so i'm gonna have to spend more time going around and collecting these uh rare ingredients <laughs> for it uh, summon decoy, and then I'm not sure how many more. Uh, summon vex, so we need like two totems of undying, and then wither. I can do that one, and that's that's all the ones that I have. The, the other things are oddball things like totems of undying, elytras, um. Uh, heart of the sea prismarine uh all of these things are things i don't have <laughs> and and i need more of so uh oh, that was that was enough experience so i may have to put some more in there sometime so uh, let's knock some of these off we got the glyph of wither uh do 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 glyph of blink orbit decoy split intangible wow all right so let's check some of these things out um let's go head on over to the coliseum 
right? I want to see what this uh, <laughs> summon undead does. Uh, summon undead. Three dudes. Nice. They got 20 health and look at that. They got diamond swords. One of them has an enchanted diamond sword. Looks like. Pretty cool. And they last quite a while because uh, I put the extended time three times and amplify but i don't know that it's split um let's let's see what happens when i take the split off because uh, i don't know i don't know that i normally get three um so uh, yeah i don't know that it actually does anything i think it's more meant for like projectiles but uh, like an arrow or something but or some other spell to duplicate it. Uh, I think there's some real hard limits uh, for the uh, summoned spells. Like, you can only have the ones. Uh, but now that we have our summoning sickness is gone, we can summon some more. Wow, they rest, last a really long time after the summoning. Um, it looks, yeah, it looks like there's three in this one as well. Hey, two, two of them have enchanted swords this time. Pretty cool. So it doesn't look like the split does anything for them. So, well, it would have been cool to... To summon it and then be able to have two sets of skeletons. But I think uh, since the summoning spells, you can only have one at a time. It really wasn't going to work. <laughs> so, that face. Um, let's see, what else do we got? Uh, the orbit spell looks... Uh, really cool. Um, I mean, that could be useful in so many ways. <laughs> Orbit. Um, uh, because um, old ship for more information. Summons three orbiting projectiles around the caster that will cast a spell on in any entities it may hit. Oh, so if somebody comes close, I thought maybe if like somebody hits you, but of course, if they hit you, they have to be close, unless of course they're using a projectile and then they can still hit you from afar. So that kind of I don't know. I would think that if it hit you with, you know, if it hit one of the orbits, <laughs> it should still count as them touching it. But anyway, additional projectiles, their speed, radius, and duration may be augmented. Sensitive will cause orbit to hit blocks. Oh, <laughs> that is pretty cool. So you could do... Um, Let's check this out. Let's just clear it and clear the spell name. We'll do orbit. Um, I think orbit is already like oh maybe we could do like <laughs> it's not a lawnmower i don't know if aoe affects orbit is is that how you get additional because it said something like oops uh, additional projectiles their speed radius and duration may be augmented so you can get more than 
three. So I wonder if doing the AOE will augment it with another um, orb. Now I wonder, let's see, um, orbs. is it going to already summon the orbs? Oh yeah, check it out. Now they don't do anything, but we do have one, two, three. It just looks like three. Uh, so maybe it, um, let's see, can I see it? No. <laughs> I'm assuming that it's three. It's three. It looks like three to me. Uh, so I don't think AOE does anything. So what would we have to do? Extend time? Maybe? Would that, or maybe split? would affect that. All right. Um, I wonder if I cast a spell. How do you? Oh, I forgot. It's been so I think there's four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So split looks like it does affect it. That is pretty cool. So I wonder if I split it again, would it make it five? One, two, three, four. Five, six. I don't know. It's get there. There's really so many. It's kind of hard to see where it ends. So it could be five or it could be six. <laughs> I don't know, but that seems to work pretty cool. Um, so now what do we want this to do when it does something? Um, do we want it to... Uh, Hmm. Oh, dude, check this out. Okay, this would be awesome. Go into uh, <laughs> the middle of the forest, right? Oh, oh, I remember it was uh, saying something about sensitive will cause orbit to hit blocks. So we need to add sensitive in there. Uh, sensitive. Sensitive. Uh, then do like, what was it? Bell? with an AOE, two AOE, right? <laughs> oh, this is good. This is good. <laughs> oh. You don't, oh wait, it it only did like three. I guess maybe it, it it used up more than one on the on the thing. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. You just cast your thing, you run around. Oh look, I am not obstructed. Uh, yeah, it looks like uh, more than one is is hitting the fell thing. So I don't know. Uh, this is good. Uh, yeah, I only got like two out of that, but that is pretty neat. There you go.
Um, I like it. So I'm gonna like be playing around with stuff, uh, <laughs> I guess, for a while. Um, trying to think. Yeah, it's probably about time. Yeah, it doesn't last very long. Um, I might have to do something like extend time. Oh, look. Um, actually, I think it hit the grass and dissipated. I, I think I saw that because I was standing right here and it kind of just fizzled out there. So, yeah. <laughs> Good times. Oh, I'm so happy that that I got to progress some more in, in ours. Nouveau. <laughs> it's been a while and I, I really enjoyed it and I really missed it. So I'm, I'm hoping to get back into some more magic and I would love, love to start blood magic. I watching Dire Wolf's videos really gave me this urge. I love blood magic and I, I made like a huge Base centered around blood magic way back when it first came out and I uh, I don't know I've been in love with it ever since <laughs> so uh, I'm really looking forward to getting into that um, and, but we still have like tons of stuff to do I need to get a, uh, a beacon so I can do the Gaia fights over in our uh, Coliseum I want to, you know, start Blood Magic. There are so many other mods with magic in it that I haven't even tried. There are things with Ars Nouveau that I would like to just, like, completely fully automate. I mean, because we we were starting out and I didn't have a lot of the mm -hmm. technology to go with it to, you know, hook it up into my my dire wolf base because <laughs> we just didn't have the stuff uh and we didn't have the technology but now we have all the stuff <laughs> almost all the stuff and we have a lot more technology so i would definitely like to take advantage of that and i would also check this out we uh this is pretty cool where are you little buddy oh it's behind me here he is. These guys are bookworms. Um, I didn't... I always thought that, like, the uh, Starbuncles were the only ones that could manipulate inventories. But I remember... Um, oh, my God. Uh, I remember that... Yeah... Um, Oh, is this the old one? Oh, that is the old one. Uh, where? There. Okay. So, <laughs> let's look at familiars. Um, but it's it's a bookworm. A bookworm will reduce the cost. Of, but this is for, like, the familiar. This is when I found out about the bookworms is when I was looking into familiars. Uh, and this will increase your spell damage by one and reduce the cost of all spells cast. So if you go into your book, oops, um, and you push C, you can come over here. Uh, where is it? Familiars. There's a familiars tab and you can click on your familiar or what there are more than just the bookworms, but that's the only one I have right now. So when I have him out, he will do what they say and give me more spell damage. Uh, and where is it? He'll give me more spell damage and reduce the cost of all my spells. So that is pretty cool. Um, but if you just use them as a bookworm, 
Let's see, where was that? I think that was in automation. Bookworm charm right here. Uh, bookworms are helpful creatures with the ability to cast spells using source from source charts. Oh, that is cool. So you can give them spells to cast. Given a spell inscribed on spell parchment, bookworms will cast spells in the areas surrounding their lectern. To summon a bookworm, use a bookworm charm on a lectern. Uh, bookworms can be dyed, blah, uh, I thought, in the event that they are dyed or dispelled, they will drop their charm. Uh, Bookworms can cast spells that begin with touch or projectile. You may give them a spell that is written on spell parchment. Currently, bookworms will only target blocks surrounding their lectern. Spell casting will consume source from jars that are within seven blocks of their lectern. By default, bookworms will only cast a spell if every spell effect will do something. Harvests will only be cast on trees or fully grown crops or grow on crops that are not full grown. To disable this strict mode, use a dominion wand. However, using multiple specialized bookworms is recommended. While bookworms cannot pick up blocks on their own, they may store items in chests that are next to the lectern using the item pickup spell. Uh, conversely, bookworms may place blocks and interact with the world using items. You may give an item or block to the bookworm, and it will use the item directly from the chest adjacent to the lectern. The range of the bookworm can be extended by using a dominion wand on the lectern while sneaking. So that's pretty cool. I mean, they, they don't necessarily interact with the chest uh, specifically, but they can use an item pickup spell to store items in a chest. Uh, so that is pretty cool. I can use them sort of as a starbuckle to pick up things. Uh, uh, only I think it's a little bit less specialized than the starbuckle because the starbuckle you can use filters uh, to have them only pick up certain items. Um, let me see. Let me go ahead and sleep so I don't get interrupted. I'm probably just talking too much, but this Starbuckle over here, he's been here for a while, but he's storing items at one location and taking items from three locations. I think if he had a filter on it, it would also tell what he was being filtered with. Um, so I'm not sure about that. Mm -hmm. um, I think what I had was I had excluded. Uh, let me see. Can I use my Dominion wand to see it? Um, no, it doesn't show it. I'm pretty sure I had him filtered to where he wouldn't um, pick up uh, the, what do you call those doodads? The, oh my goodness, I can't remember what it's called. Uh, ah, the source gem. <laughs> Source gem or the source block. I believe I just uh, filtered that out or filtered it to where he would only pick up the finished items. But I think it would be way easier to just have him exclude the one instead of including all the others. So, um, yeah, you can filter him. Uh, but... It, this would be good to just pick things up, to just pick everything up, I guess, like that. But they can do a lot more than just pick up. They can cast spells, which is cool. And I would love to start um, doing some type of automation with that because I think that would be cool. I remember in uh, my old world, I had all my farms were using... Um, 
<laughs> we're using the at the time I don't remember which mod it was I think it might have been Ars Magica that had brooms that would gather items they would just they were magic brooms and they would go around sweeping and they would pick up items and I love that <laughs> I love that uh so that would be super cool if they had the brooms again but I don't think I don't think there are brooms uh which is it makes me sad broom no brooms so anyway I, I I would love to get more into this and and do more automation more magic mation <laughs> um I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here because I've been rambling on way too long and I will hope to see you guys in the next episode thank you for watching we'll see you next time bye bye